Hi friends, uh, today we are going to discuss about uh, the different types of pipe joints. So, so initially we are going to discuss about the thread joint. So, as you can see here, uh, here is the the pipe, uh, stainless steel pipe. It's threaded, uh, male threaded. Then you can see here the elbow. This is a female threaded. So this is one kind of joint we can connect uh, the pipe. So as you can see here. So we will uh, we will see how to connect this uh, in the next videos. So the next one is a glue type. So the normally the glue type will be suitable for PVC, CPVC, UPVC pipes. So now we have the CPVC pipe. So this is going to be connect like this. This is the second type of connection. And the third one is <coughs> third one is no hub coupling. So this is the no hub. This is the no hub. So this is going to be connected like this. So this is going to connect like this. So the it's approximately one inch of this side pipe will go inside. At the same, this side also will go inside. So it will be connected. Yeah, even this is uh, the third third type of connection. Huh? And the fourth one is a uh, metallic coupling type. This is called metallic coupling. So so for this connection we need to have the pipe. So as you can see here, we need to have the pipe. Pipe should be grooved. So, so this uh, this one has its own neck. So this neck is going to be fit with this groove. So it will be like this. So we will see in the demo how to connect it. Then the fifth one is flange to flange connection. <coughs> the fifth one is flange to flange connection. We can connect. Uh, we can connect uh, here. Uh, this is a threaded flange. Then we can connect here pipe. Then here also we can connect pipe. So fourth flange we can connect. This is uh, so mostly flange type they are using for easy uh, easy removal. Then the fifth one, then the sixth one we can see that uh, the tressor coupling type. <coughs> this is the tressor coupling. So as you can see here, this is uh, here is a rubber. So you can see here the, this is a rubber rubber with some neck. Then this side also same like that. So both side will go some uh, some pipes. So one pipe will be going like this. Another one will be going like this. Then once we put approximately the both pipes should come in the middle. So there should be 10 mm, 10 mm clearance also no problem. So we should put like this. Then we need to tighten this. We need to tighten this uh, bolt. Then what will happen? This all uh, this this rubber will hold on the pipe. It will hold like this. So one is uh, PN PN16. This is PN16. This is going to be hold until uh, 16 bar pressure. Then then we have the then we have one uh, emergency clamp. So this is normally using. So this is a pipe. As you can see, this is a pipe. If there is any pinhole leak or any small crack. During that time, we can manage. No need to replace the entire pipe. We can manage with this uh, emergency clamp. We need to connect like this. So this is going to be connect like this. So this is all, this is also going to hold around 10 bar pressures. Then okay, thank you.